Welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we will learn how to apply color and change strokes in detail. In previous lectures, we applied colors and worked on strokes as well. But now it's in detail, because these tools are the most important tools of Adobe Illustrator. First you have to select the object by using the selection tool. Quick key is Ctrl V or with the direct selection tool quick key, A you can change a fill or a stroke, but not both at the same time. You decide whether to change the fill or the stroke by selecting an object and then clicking the fill box or the stroke box. The box you click comes to the front, after that, Every color change you make is applied to whichever one you chose. Until you choose the other one. Colors and stroke can be changed to multiple objects at once.
Some very useful features surround the fill and stroke boxes. Just to the upper right is a little curved line with arrows on both ends, called the swap fill and stroke button, to swap fill and stroke colors. Double click the stroke or fill boxes to summons the color picker from which you can specify colors in a variety of ways. You can choose a color from a spectrum, using the true color field and the color slider, or define a color numerically. You can also select colors from the color and swatches palettes, color and stroke palettes can be found under window on the top menu. By default they are located on the right side of the screen. After coloring, Another most important aspect of Adobe Illustrator is layering. Similar to Photoshop, Illustrator works with layers. Nevertheless, they work a bit in a different way. Multiple objects like shapes, text, images, can exist on one layer and are selected and manipulated using the selection tools. They are positioned in the order they were created, within that layer. Means the green circle was made first, then blue, and then red. They are all on one layer. To change the order of these objects, select the desired object now in menu bar or right click on the object click object then arrange. This will open a drop down menu. Here you can choose to move your object either up or backward one level, or move it all the way to the front or all the way to the back. Use your cursor to move your selected object forward one step. It is now on top of the blue square, but still behind the red. Do again that action, moving the green square up one more step. It is now at the front. The same action could be done in one step by selecting bring to front which would bring the green square to the front in one go. Since Illustrator allows you to individually select objects on the same layer, it can be easy to create layers so crowded with objects that it's difficult to select them individually. Using different layers can allow you to keep your objects organized. Open your layers palette by going to your menu bar. And selecting window then layers. Hotkey is F7. Create a new layer by pressing the new layer button. Selected layer will be highlighted in blue. When a particular layer is highlighted, any new object which you create will be on this layer.
The color of an item's bounding box will match with the colored tab of that layer. One of the benefits of working in layers is the capability to separate the layer you are working with. You can do this by locking any other layers. While locked, you will not be able to select or move any of the shapes, text, or images enclosed in that layer. To lock a layer, click the space next to the eye icon. To unlock, simply click again. If locking alone isn't enough, you can also make layers invisible to better see or focus on specific portions of your document. Click the eye icon to make a layer invisible. This does not delete or alter the layer's contents, it only hides them. To unhide the layer, click again. Let me tell you about one more interesting feature. You can move an object to a different layer. In Illustrator, once you have created an object, sometime, you might have to move it to a different layer. After creating objects in a layer, you could still move it to a different layer. Choose the object you need to move. Then select the layer you want the object to be moved to. Now go to object then arrange then send to current layer.